Hi, it's Sarah and D Rock from Morton in the Morning, and we are here with, of course, Charlie XCX. Hello, Yay. Charlie. Hi, how are you guys? We're good. Good. Welcome yeah. to San Diego. Thank you. Thank you. Is it your first time here to San Diego? Yes, it is. I'm very excited to be here. Well, good. We're glad to have you. <laughs> well, congratulations. Your album is coming out December 16th. Sucker. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any plans of what you're going to do the day it comes out to celebrate? I have no idea where I am. Um, I wanted to try and have like a roller skating release party. Oh. So wherever I am, I'm going to try and make that happen. Oh, that's, nice. that's so <laughs> Are you good at roller skating? Is that a hobby of I'm, yours? I'm, I'm all right, actually. I'm not bad. I'm not going to say I'm like amazing, but I'd say I was like a six out of ten when it comes to roller skating. So when they do the backward skating, you'll you'll jump out. And I can, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, slowly, okay, like okay. very slowly backwards, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and you spent, you know, like at least what half of your life working to get to, you know, the su success of where you are today. Was there any point in your career trying to make it where you were performing at a venue or a place that was just so horrible? You were like, okay, this better be worth it. Yeah, totally. I've done loads of those. I've done loads of weird shows. Like, my first ever show was in a disused peanut factory, and it was a big, like, illegal rave. And then I've done shows where I've, like, stood on, like, crates uh, to, like, be seen. I've done shows on, like, bar stools. I've done shows to, like, three people. Like, yeah, totally. I've been through all of it, wow. and it's, sometimes it's been really tough. But other times it's been really cool, you know. Is it harder to perform in front of three people? Well, I don't do room? that so much anymore, which <laughs> is really nice. Right. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I don't know. Like, that was when I was, like, young, you know, and th it was weird. But I was just like, whatever, you know. So growing up in the 90s, uh, your influences were Spice Girls, Britney. Yeah. Her favorite. Oh, my yeah. God. Britney girl. <laughs> Cool. Um, that kind of en encompasses the sound. I mean, it, it, it's it's different. It's it's pop. It's it's electro. It's kind of like almost even punk almost. But it's enjoyable. Um, are there any artists that you look forward to working with in the future? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm I've I've always been like a big Gwen fan. Uh, so um, I would love to do something with her. That would be super cool. Like just to write songs with her would be really fun and um i don't know you know like i feel like i've done a lot of collaborations throughout my career so i kind of want to begin to be quite selfish in terms of what i do and don't do you know There's nothing wrong with that it's your moment yeah. to shine <laughs> <laughs> well now that you have um met so many famous people who is the most famous phone number you have in your phone right now oh god um uh, that makes you nervous. Like, if you were going to text this person oh, yeah. or call, you'd be like, oh, man. Oh, it makes me nervous. Um, I don't know. Like, I remember um, me and, like, Riff Raff were, like, speaking about working together. And I was always kind of, like, nervous to, like, email him just because he's, like, so bizarre. And I was, <laughs> like, uh -huh. yeah. he's going to just blow my mind with some crazy neon poetry. And I'm going to be, like, whoa. <laughs> um, so, but I don't think, I don't get nervous. I don't really get, like, fr if I had, like, Larry David's phone number, then I'd get really nervous to, like, text him. Good one. Yeah, but I don't have his number. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> but if I did, that's the kind of person. Or Bill Murray, I'd be like, ah! Oh, that was yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah. Too, but yeah. the people I have in my phone book are all pretty cool. So yeah. Okay, so I just have to ask: Is everyone in your family going to get Justin Bieber perfume for Christmas? Because I heard <laughs> you have like twenty bottles. Yeah, and also there's a new addition to the Justin Bieber collection. There's a blow-up uh, doll. Oh. Uh, oh no. Justin, it's actually called a Justin Bieber blow-up oh doll, <laughs> um, which my fans like tattooed like with marker pen uh so that's just like floating around on our bus so maybe like it's my mum's birthday in a couple of days maybe she can have that along with a bottle of uh someday by justin bieber <laughs> but literally like what do you do with 20 bottles like do you s have it stored on your tour bus like um you know? i have a lot of them at home and to be honest like i do i use it wow. like i'll spritz up with jb sometimes yeah 
<laughs> Spritz up with Jay. Yeah. <laughs> so, 90s kid. What did yeah. you watch growing up? Um, a lot of Top of the Pops. Um, do you guys have that out here? Um, I f- I've heard about it's it. It's like a music right. TV show. Right. Um, it was pretty big in like the 70s and 80s, and then they brought it back. Um, what else? Uh, like movies, Clueless, The Craft, like Scream, um, that kind of stuff, really. Uh, Twin Peaks, very excited that's making okay. a yeah. comeback. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Good stuff. Um, how about Saved by the Bell? I didn't watch Saved by Are the Bell. Are you kidding but me? You, but but I did. It, that was on Nickelodeon, right? No. 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 Oh, okay. My bad. Well, <laughs> I didn't have like I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. But I think I'm I'm like I'm like me- meeting um, the guy from Saved by the Bell Mario who's Lippin? aged really well. Yes, him. Like nice. in a couple of days. So. They're probably going to be like, oh, you know, like you really like you were born in the '90s, Saved by the Bell, and I'm going to be like, he's not going to be used to that. <laughs> like, I don't know. But I, don't know. I feel like it was like, like, did you watch it? It was like a, I feel like it was like way more of like an American, like thing. I, kn- I mean, I think it was big in the UK, but I, I just kind of missed it. I was watching Powerpuff Girls instead. Okay, I respect <laughs> that. <laughs> well, with Halloween coming up next weekend, yeah. I know you're all over the place. Do you have any plans for Halloween? Um, I have a show in the UK, like, the day before. Uh, so I think that's kind of going to be our, like, Halloween party. I think we're going to go as, like, me and my band are going to go as, like, the Adams Family or Dead Cheerleaders or, like, The Craft or something like that. Would nice. you be Morticia? If you I think so. Wednesday? I think she's the, I mean, Morticia or Wednesday. I don't know. My drama wants to be cousin it. Which Wednesday would be pretty cool. cool. <laughs> Wednesday yeah, Wednesday, Christina Ricci is amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and my final question is, um, you know, with your lifestyle, I'm sure you've gotten to go on, like, fancy jets or really cool VIP service. Now, have you ever actually said out loud, I'm so fancy, or is that just totally off limits? I have never said <laughs> I'm so fancy, I don't think. And I think if I did, someone who, someone from my team would probably punch me in the face. <laughs> I've never said that. Um, yeah, no, I haven't. I'll, uh, Iggy can, it, I'll leave that to Iggy. Iggy can, Iggy can pull that off. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the album Suckers will be in stores December 16th. Yes. We look forward to listening to it. And thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.